Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in surviving the aftermath. All right, guys, we got stuff going on. We got groups of survivors. We got specialists ready. We've got trade deals going down. We've got all kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started down here. We've got two elders, six or no, two adults, six elders, and two children. So they are literally bringing ten people to us. And they are bringing 10 jerky, 9 firewood, and 5 venison. I will accept y'all. Bring it on in. I just got an achievement, probably for going over the 100 mark on the colonist. Okay, so we got that. Let's go. Okay, here you are up here. What are you doing? Are you headed back? Um. Oh yeah, you are headed back. Okay. Yep, you bring it back. Okay, so the next farm thing is out here. Okay, so I need... I'm gonna need dragon. Where is dragon? There is dragon. Send dragon to the world map, please. Okay, dragon is on the world map. Dragon, go take care of them. And then, let's see, Garoti, I need you to bring it on home, bud. Yes. Bring it on in. Bring me your goodies. That's what I like to see. You know, we've got 19 carriers right now. We can basically do what we want, when we want, without any issues. So, I'm going to make sure all my buildings are turned on first. Uh, tool shop. You know, we've got, we do got a little bit of metal. Uh... I guess let's go ahead and put, yeah, put two of y'all in here. We're good there. We're good here. We're good over here. I might make a second forester just, I don't know. Part of me says yes. Part of me says no. Part of me says that the forester just needs to get stuff to grow. Where are you at? Right there. We'll move your work area. I want you working right there now. Yeah. Because we still got to have firewood. We still got to have planks. We still got to have a lot of things. What are we doing here? Nothing. Okay. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one is full. That's good. I'm going to move your work area up here. This one is full of workers as well. I'm going to move your work area down here. And, okay, so we're good there. Now, the power grid, we have 15,000. Yeah, that was something I was talking about last time was we needed, we needed, <coughs> sorry, we needed to up the power storage and the ability so that I can switch a couple of those burners over to, uh, And that's what we're waiting on right there is that next battery pack. Uh, over to radiators. Okay, you go and build that for me. Because that should give us 20,000 in battery power. Oh, I just realized eight colonists are homeless. Okay, so yeah, we need to build. We need to build a house. We need to build a big house. Uh, let's build a two-story house. Man, I don't want to put it right there next to the pollution stuff. Can we put it? Yeah, let's put it up here next to the cemetery. That makes much more sense, you know. So much more sense. 
I'm gonna put two-story house right here and is that that's just barely in range of that uh, you know what we're gonna go with it for right now oops don't put your gun to whatever okay so we got that y'all get this house built that 30 fiber is going to hurt a little bit on our fiber production. But that's alright though. Two story house. It's going to make people happy. And then after that I think. I think if we're going to be expanding outwards in this area. I'd like to see how big of a circle we could get with this heat. Uh, a little bit expensive but. I won't know unless we do it. So, so we're going to do that next. Well, come on, bring the last five metal over here, people. There we go. Yeah, get that built. So we've got food. We've got water. We've got electricity. Do we have water? No, I need to upgrade my water. That's what it was. I want to upgrade some of the water supplies too. Construction complete. That should make some people happy, I believe. I'm hoping. I am hoping. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably put in another house of, up here, depending on this heater. Where'd it go? Um, this heater, right? Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, that's much, well, that is much bigger, but it doesn't help as far as giving us another, another place to put a house, unless I put a house back to back with this one, which I could do, and then I could actually put another one over here too, I might do that, because I need to replace some of those houses so that I can come in here demolish some of these little tents and buildings and stuff. Of course, I might just demo one and put a new one in, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Try to keep people happy while doing things. Specialists are ready. Okay. Apparently, Dragon took care of business. The old steel mill has been liberated and its warehouses are free for the taking. Aside from metal, you also manage to, get to, blah, to scavenge a few usable parts off the worn down machinery to the next factory. That is very, very nice. Uh, you know what? Let's drop it off at the depot. And Dragon, we're just going to have you continue on there, bud. Yeah, another 70 metal will be nice because that... That right there just replaces everything we have just lost, and I like the th uh, the I like the sound of that. I do. It sounds very very nice. All right, where are we at with research? Um, I know I was going for what? Ah, yes, the fortress upgrade. That's what we were going to. Uh, Prosperous Colony attracts all sorts of attention. Keep unwanted visitors and bandits away by building your gate strong and tall like a fortress. Please, please, please give me the fortress upgrade. Even if we're 
technically not there yet. We'll be there soon. Oh no, a colonist found something. Oh no. One of the colonists rushes towards you. He says that someone spotted an abandoned wagon. Uh oh. A uh, abandoned wagon not too far away from here. It's covered with a tarp, so they couldn't tell what's inside. There are footprints around it, but no one could tell where they lead. Colonists want to go search the wagon in case there's something valuable in it. So, they want tools to be armed with this time. So, yeah, bad things are probably about to happen. Uh, I can either tell them it's too dangerous to check, or we could just search it. I'm going to search it. We've had dead bodies in there and took all the loot. We've had people hiding in there that have attacked us. We're going to see what happens. Small group of colonists ventures out. It doesn't take much time for them to return. They found plenty of supplies as well as two dead bodies. Looks like sickness caught both of them and they weren't strong enough to go on any longer. We've got six components and 12 plastic. Good. The more components, the better. Because that just keeps our... Uh, our grids running that much longer. How are we doing on electrical power? It's almost full. Yeah. Yeah, I would most definitely say that's a good thing. Uh, our people, zero are starving. I hope zero are starving. Zero is exhausted. 12 is dirty. 40 tired. And 63 are mourning. Well, I mean, we've got a cemetery. Uh-oh, winter storm coming in. All right, guys, we have got to get stuff situated. Let's see, are you ready to harvest? You are just in the planting stages. That's not good. Uh, growing. Harvest now. Uh, you are being harvested. Harvest now. And harvest now. All right, so we've got... They're planting corn... They're growing corn, so this one will be ready to harvest here pretty soon. Uh, this one is still growing as well. Okay, so we'll have two harvest during the storm on the uh, smaller ones, which isn't bad. Uh, sawmill. Okay, let me move the work area. We'll move the work area to right there. Where is my logging camp area? You are right there. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Okay, so. I need my specialist. I need Dragon to drop off that metal as soon as Dragon can't. Man, really? Seriously? It's going to take you two turns to get over there? <sighs> okay, well, it is what it is. There ain't much we can do about it. Um, let me see. Okay, so we've got plenty of wood, and we've got some of the radiators going. Uh, how much does it take for a new radiator? 25 metal. So we do not have 25 metal yet. But if I were to do it, is there anywhere that's not covered, really? Those batteries aren't. The pollution plant isn't. Um, you know, right now, I don't think there is. I think I think we ride with what we got. Yeah, we're going to ride with what we got. So, we do got this bigger radiator. That whole fish farm's encompassed. This new house is encompassed. Um... There is literally very little that's not that's not inside a heat zone. Right here is not that medical tent. That's kind of rough. That's a transformer. That is radiator. Yeah, we don't have the metal to upgrade that guy. We do not have it. Partially because we're building tools. Benjamin's an adult. Ten colonists suffering from serious mutations. Well, they better get themselves treated. That's all I can say is you better go get yourself treated.
Hey, dragon's ready. Go drop that off for me. Nice. And then please go and attack them. Alright, so now we have the money. We can do an upgrade. Uh, it says it's going to strike at any time. Now, do we upgrade or not? Um, where was it that I was going to upgrade this one? Or do we want to upgrade this one? Hmm. You know what? I kind of want to upgrade this one. To see how, how much of this it takes over. Because honestly, if I upgrade this one and it touches over here and it comes down here and then I can upgrade this one and it fills in that gap, this one might not be necessary anymore and I might be able to deconstruct it and get some materials back maybe. Okay. We have everything else, right? We have metal, we have wood, we have components, and we have parts. Upgrade. Hurry about it. See? Winter storm. Hurry, upgrade it. Y'all are gonna be cold. I wonder if it's still running while it's being upgraded. Mm, two children were born, huh? So that pretty much is gonna take out all of the free spots. How many kids do we got? We got 16. We really need a second school. I think that's something we might end up putting in as a second school as well. That way, all of the kids have a chance to get educated and grow up. Come on, peoples. Get this radiator going. Somebody, anybody, deliver the metal. Come on, we need 10 more metal. It's going to get cold, people. So, the AI is... Someone's at the gate. Oh, that's lovely. Someone's at the gate. The AI is a little bit better, but on certain things, I still wish that they had, like... A prioritize this over everything else function. Alright, let's see what's going on at the gate. A woman with streaks of white and blue in her hair approaches you with the small glass vials clinking in rhythm. The lab coat is worn and torn, but she carries herself with a sense of dignity. I was told I'd find the colony in need of medicine around these parts. That must be you. They call me the apothecary. Can I be of service? Um, give me some iodine pills. I hope you don't need to spend all at once. I shall return at a later date to offer my services. Should you require them again, she quickly bows and walks back to her vehicle. Vial still clinking. Okay. I mean, nor uh, yeah, I don't think we had, I don't think we had any, uh, any pills so the fact that we got some now that's a that's a good sign I'm trying to see if we had any though because it's not showing up when you click on medicine no we had nine or now we have nine pretty sure that's all we had yeah okay so that was a good trade because we have plenty of parts right now and i know i have colonists to keep getting irradiated yay Metal extractor contaminated. No. Yeah, go clean that so I can get more metal. All right, did y'all get this built? Y'all have not got this built. Y'all are killing me here. Quite literally killing me. Hold on, specialist is ready. Dragon, have you defeated them? You can see why the bandits chose this plant as their target, while no doubt looted many times over. Still full of all kinds of construction materials, it takes a good while to grab all you can. 80 wood, 50 plastic, 60 concrete. 
done. I'm gonna have you drop it off there, and then I'm gonna have you bring it on back, Dragon. So, yes, the only thing we'll be kind of low on will be metal, and, I mean, we've got three metal extractors right now, so we can only do so much. Okay, hold on. You get up here and build that. Before, like, buildings freeze and stuff. Come on. Industrial radiator complete. Okay, so with that being completed, this is our new heat circle right here. So it almost connects right there. So that one actually is pretty, pretty good. Uh... It does include the medical tent, so maybe the couple of people that normally get hypothermia won't get it this time because that area is a little bit more covered. Our zone towards one of our food tents is a little bit warmer. It's like right there on the corner of it. That's fine. What is this? That's a warehouse. Yeah, that one's still not covered. So if we were to do it again, I would say probably this one. Uh, yeah, that tenement's kind of not in the zone, is it? I just now realized that. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, um, I need y'all to upgrade this one as well, and hopefully y'all don't freeze to death while upgrading it. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, dragon, please drop my stuff off and return to the colony. Oops. I always scroll out too far. Yeah, I see nine colonists are hypothermic. We need to get this built. Let's see, no, that's a transformer. Where was the radiator at? Here. A strange car was spotted. Uh-oh. The colonists found a large van hidden in the woods. It looks like... It looks to be undergoing repair, but not abandoned. The colonists were led there by muffled yells coming from inside... But judging by how it was camouflaged, whoever drives it doesn't want to be found. We can either seize the van or we can leave the van alone. If we seize the van, I guarantee someone's coming for us. If we leave the van alone, something bad might happen to whoever's inside. Uh, I say we do it. We're going for it. We're seizing it. Your colonists form a small group that sneaks to the suspicious van. They spot two bandits in the midst of fixing something underneath it. Scare the bandits away or attack the bandits. I mean, they might get scared and if they're under the van and get caught off guard, they might run. Let's try it. Your colonists unleash an avalanche of threats towards the bandits who immediately turn around. Just one look at the larger group of colonists sends them fleeing. Your people open the van and find five people sitting inside, tied up and gagged. Accept them into the colony, send them on their way. We'll accept them. The people are freed and welcomed to your colony. They are, bound, they are beyond thankful and can hardly believe their luck. Finally having a new home. Five colonists, 11 parts. Wow, we just got some colonists and that's probably good because I think we might lose a few. Uh, I know we don't have housing for everyone and that is a problem, but, you know, things do happen. So, I just hope everyone gets over here and builds this. And yeah, we just lost a dude to old age, so... 
Come on, guys. We need this new heater up and running. Oh, it's already showing the increased heat zone. Oh, that's cool. So maybe it's already counting. Maybe I don't have to worry about it because I'm like, hey, wait, that building's inside the thing now. Yeah, we have zero out of four. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have to end up building another thing down here. Uh, that's the tailor. I'm going to pause you. I know we were just starting to make tools, but I'm going to have to pause you so I can build another house. Yeah, because we've got homeless colonists out here. I'm going to make sure this gets built before I do anything else. Last thing I need is for this heater not to get built and it, like, cause a problem. Froze to death? Where? Out there? Well, don't go out there, peoples. Like, I don't understand why we, why are we running back and forth in a zone with no, I mean, you're in a zone of heat. What, what's the deal? Uh-oh. Colonists has been acting hostile, huh? You've been keeping an eye on a colonist who's been acting out lately, yelling at others and looking visibly irritated. You approach him and ask about the problem. He tells you he's not getting enough food, so he's hungry all the time. All of that sounds odd since he's been getting the same amount of food as everyone else. Uh, go see the medic. He's not happy about having to go get a checkup, but all in all looks a bit relieved. He finally gets some help. It turns out that he has contracted a parasitic worm that's been living in his intestines for a while now. Yeah, I figured that. I think we had that one before. Alright, so the heater is built. We've got 18 metal up there. I'm going to try to get another one of these two-story houses. Yeah, I mean, if it's going to cost me 30 metal, it's going to cost me 30 metal. Not much I can do about that. I will put you right here. I will run the paved road down. There we go. And let's see. Yeah, we still got 220-something on the on that guy it still shows some people need winter coats and stuff but we're a lot better off than we were so that's a good thing most definitely a good thing you know I almost wonder what would happen if Robin froze to death huh wait what why where was Robin why did Robin freeze to death wait are you Robin no, you're Paisley. Show me the dead body. Yeah, that's a feature they're going to need to work on. I'd like to be able to click to see where, where the people are that are freezing to death. I mean, like I said, other than having the two greenhouses out here, nobody should be coming out this way. Not a single person should ever be going out there. Uh, three deposits depleted, huh? Wait, what? Why is it showing on the school? I'm confused. Three colonists are homeless. How? Did we get more? Hmm. Well, another one froze to death. Okay. 
Calling this could use a pick me up, huh? Okay, let's see what we got here. Colonist wanders towards you with an excited look on his face. Hey boss, I might be able to help with giving the folks here a little extra boost. If you give me some materials, I could build an instrument and make their work a little uh, bit easier with some music. I could make a guitar, drums, or I could make a church organ. Please, I've always wanted to make a church organ. You know, we had this the other day, and I built a guitar, and we got something out of it. I'd like to say, you know what, build the church organ, but we've got colonists that need the metal. I'm going to let you build a drum. Takes a while, but the man eventually returns with a pair of sizable drums. He sets them down near some workers, starts pounding away, beginning with a militaristic rhythm that erupts into a solo straight out of a rock song. You can see that the performance is lifting the worker's spirit quite a lot for happiness. Very, very nice there, people. Very, very nice. Okay. So all we need is a little bit more metal. Uh, froze to death, froze to death. Man, this winter's kind of rough. At this rate, we're not going to have people beyond the, uh... You know what? Let's pause that. I forgot that we had that running. I wonder if that's part of where everyone's going to freeze. Yeah, they're going out here. What are you doing? Oh, the scrappers and stuff. Yeah, I probably should have paused all of that, huh? Uh, so I can't pause the recycler or the scrapper, huh? So basically, unless I destroy the buildings or completely just uncrew them, they're going to continue going out there and freezing. And Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, I'm not going to worry about it then. We still got plenty of people. I say that as another one dies. You know what? Yeah, let me just turn these off for right now. Turn you off. You two don't need to be going out there no more. Y'all stick around the village. I mean, I needed that metal, but at the same time, yeah, y'all need to, like, quit dying. I'm one away from going back to a hundred. We were doing so good. Yeah, this is one of those rougher nuclear winters. I think it's about over, though. Yeah, it's about over. Group of survivors are at the gate. We got one adult, three elders, and five children. They bring with them ten fuel, three basic tools, ten canned fruit, and six iodine pills. Bring it on in, people. Bring it on in. All right. There we go. They're working on that house now. I can go back over here. I can add three people here. I can add three people there. And we can continue on our merry way. Six colonists are homeless. I'm about to get this house built, so we'll have room for two more people after that. And yeah, it's going to be, basically, it's going to be a grind on getting metal. Uh, Opal is an adult. Okay. These two-story houses, they look extremely ghetto, but you know what? I bet you they're better than the other things. I bet they are. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, we're getting things done, guys. We are most certainly getting things done. 
But I think that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.